What's up, y'all? It's Friday. Tell me to cut that check, bitch. Nah, but y'all, listen, I got to tell y'all what happened to me yesterday, right? So I'm in Walmart. I'm on, like, the little aisle with the lotions and the deodorant and all of that shit. So I'm on the aisle, and I'm looking at shit and stuff. So I'm, like, rubbing on my eyes. I'm like, damn, I need my lashes done. So I guess it was another bl black girl on the aisle with me, and she was like, oh, I do lashes. She was like, I do the natural lashes, too, the ones that look real natural. So I'm like, okay, cool. I, You know, I support people. So I'm like, you know, where you do lashes at? She was like, oh, I do them at home. I was like, well, I need mine done today. Like, I can't wait. So she was like, I can do one for you. She was like, when I leave here, I'm going to give you my number. Just call me in like 45 minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get my lashes done for a little cheaper than, you know, what I normally get them done for. So I call her. She tell me, she like, I'm at my auntie house. Come over here. So I get to her auntie house and I come inside. And you could tell the auntie like an old lady because the house just looked like an older person house or whatever. So I go in and sit down there in the den and she at the table. And she like, you know, getting a little lash stuff organized, getting ready to do my lashes. So I speak and I sit down and I'm, you know, on my phone just so surfing through social media, you know, waiting on her to tell me she ready. So I look down and on the coffee table, she got a bunch of bills and stuff laid out. So I guess she must have been showing her auntie her bills, I guess, from her house. That's what it looked like. So, you know, I'm sitting there on my phone and they talking. So she like, yeah, auntie, because... My light bill, if you look, it's like $310. I don't know how it got that high. And she was like, you know, my job, I'm only working three days a week. Like, they ain't giving me a full 40 hours. So, I know I ain't finna have the money to pay it. Like, this bill just came. Then she was showing her auntie her car insurance and just other bills. Like, I guess she was asking her auntie, you know, for advice on what to do. So, you know, she was like, well, and I don't want to have to move back in with my mama because I just don't, I mean, that situation went good when I was there. I'm trying to make it on my own. Like, you know, this my first time living by myself so i'm trying to do it but it's hard like i don't see how y'all do it this is what you tell her auntie so you know immediately in my mind i'm thinking like okay the auntie finna give us some good advice because that's an easy fix and you don't want to see the girl you know hit rock bottom or her situation can get worse if she don't take action quick so the auntie like child you need to just pray you need to just pray that's why i tell you, you need to come to church with me you need to pray so immediately, like, my legs start jumping. You know how you be somewhere and, like, you ready to go and, like, your ass get impatient. So now I'm, like, fidgety and shit because I can't take it. So I'm telling myself in my mind, love, stay out of people's business and just get your lashes done and leave. I'm, like, talking myself down. So the auntie, like, you need to just pray, honey. Pray. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The Lord will take care of all of that. He's an awesome God. An awesome God. So in my mind, I'm thinking every time she say this shit, he's an awesome God. I'm like fucking rolling my damn eyes like this girl is asking you for advice with these bills like direct shit that's going on in front of her so i'm waiting on the auntie to get to the part where okay you telling her to pray but i'm waiting to get to the part about what she actually need to do because it got to come with some action so the auntie like you need to pray she like well auntie i don't know because this been going on for like the past two months and it's getting to the point where i think i'm gonna have to move back in with my mama she like my baby daddy he only give a certain amount of this sometimes he can't come with that so it just put me in a worse and worse situation so the auntie like i'm telling you you need to pray honey i done told you to come to church with me she said you know what bow your head put that stuff down you messing with bow your head and we gonna pray i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about i'm gonna show you how the lord is an awesome god so the girl closed her eyes and bowed her head. So I'm sitting over here like tapping my feet like. So the auntie, she like, bow your head, honey. I was like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Honey, bow your head. We're going to pray. Everybody need prayer. Bow your head. Uh-uh. I'm not going to. No. No. She, that ain't nothing but the devil. That ain't nothing but the devil. This is why I tell you, she talking to the, to the to the niece now. This is why I tell you, you need to pray. Because the devil is out here. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, wait a minute, bitch. Wait one goddamn motherfucking minute. I ain't saying this because in my mind, I'm like, I don't want to disrespect this older lady. But lady, I don't want to pray. And I'm waiting on you to tell her some real advice as to how to solve her financial problems. So the lady sit up and she hit the table. She like, you need to pray. He's an awesome God. So I'm looking like, wait a minute. Did she just pop the coffee table on me? So <laughs> I'm like, I done sat up. Y'all know my sit up game strong. I done sat up and I'm trying to process this shit. Did this lady just hit the table and point at me? 
So she like, you know, I, this is her strong, you can tell this is her strong church voice. You need to pray. Hitting the table. That ain't nothing but the devil. So she popping the table and pointing and shit like, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I let her finish so she get out what she want to say. So I tell her, now you listen to me. And I ain't going to be disrespectful to you. I say, but James 2.17, the Bible say faith without work is dead. You know what that means? Did they teach you that in church? In Sunday school? Whatever church you go to? Because you sit up here arguing about the Lord being an awesome God. And I ain't said shit about that. I'm telling your ass, along with prayer, got to come some action. So what work or what action is you telling her she need to do? You trying to get her to buy y'all head. Y'all buy y'all damn head. And y'all pray. And I don't care how long y'all pray. When she look up and open her eyes from praying, that fucking light bill still gonna say $310. The balance ain't gonna change to zero. Y'all too goddamn literal when it comes to the Bible. She can pray. Girl, you can pray when you get home at night after your ass get done going to back to Walmart where you met me at and apply for a job. They hiring right now. I seen somebody on Facebook yesterday post that they doing interviews for overnight. Can your ass back to Walmart, fill out an application for that daytime and nighttime because right now you only working three days a week. Call the fucking Duke Energy and ask for an extension. It's the beginning of the month. So you should be able to get an extension to the beginning of next month. That way that bill can be put off and you can take some stress off your goddamn back. After that, have a talk with your baby daddy and let him know what you're going through and that you need some more help before you end up backstabbing with your mama and your kids be in a more uncomfortable situation. After you do all that, when you get home tonight, then you fucking pray. But sitting right here during the daytime with shit going on and applications is had, that shit ain't finna change the balance on that goddamn light bill. And you can tell your auntie she can miss me with that goddamn church shit. That goddamn 265 old slave mentality shit. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that same mentality that literally taking Christianity that way, that's the same shit that used to make our people go back to the hut at the back of the fucking plantation and not fight back. That whole just hold on and rock back and forth and pray and hope that when you die, you make it to heaven and have a better life. You better make yourself a better life right now by working. Get your ass up and go to goddamn work. When I go in the house store to buy my motherfucking weaves and lashes and shit, the Muslims and shit behind the counter, it'd be one of them ringing me up, and it'd be one over there in the corner on one of them little mats praying and shit. You think they miss their money to pray? No, they don't. They take fucking turns. When that one get off that mat and get done praying, he go run the register while the other one go down there and pray. You can pray in the midst of goddamn working. Now you, James, two motherfucking seventeen. So another lady, I didn't even know it was somebody else there. Another lady come out the motherfucking kitchen. She like, honey, you got to leave. I knew I had to leave the time I raised my voice in y'all house. I apologize, but they telling you wrong, honey. I appreciate you, and I'm out.